Are you certain? Yes. He as much as told me to my face that he was going to tell someone, whether that's Nicholas or Helena or the Port Charles Herald. I, I don't know, but I do know that he meant it. So we've run out of time. Uh, I'm not going to believe this, but I have plans with Lucky and Liz and Emily tonight. Uh, but why don't you stay for dinner? I can be back that quick. Yes, have dinner with us. Yeah, and then I can... Uh... I can take Lou up and we can watch for Santa through the telescope, huh? We insist. I can tell Mrs. Lansbury. All right. Okay. Come on, sweetie. Let's go, let's go tell Mrs. Lansbury that you and Mommy can stay for dinner. Come on. Christmas with his mother before we face the anger and recrimination he's sure to feel when he learns we've kept such a secret from him. It's Christmas Eve. I don't want to spoil it. No. No, it's a disaster in the making. Luke may have left me and gone directly to Helena. He may be laying in wait for Nicholas the second he steps off Nicholas the launch. Nicholas will be furious whenever he finds out it, doesn't he? You all right? Yes, fine. Yeah. We'll see you at dinner then. Yeah, uh, Leslie Lou's helping Mrs. Lansbury decorate gingerbread cookies. I'll be back as soon as I can. It's good that you're here. Thank you. He may walk back through that door knowing everything. He's never had a Christmas with the feeling of a complete family. If I can preserve that for him, for the next 24 hours, it's worth the risk. At least to me. All right, then. But let's tell him tomorrow. I do find you endlessly amusing. It's a flaw in my character. All right, I'll bite. What key to what kingdom? The whole Cassadine nut, if you got the crackers to snap it open. Oh, I got the crackers. So I take it this gift isn't really just a rusty old key. That rusty old key happens to open a very big, rusty old war chest. You're making my neck hurt. If you have something to say, just say it. If not, take your kingdom and go. Well, all right, you force me to be the bearer of bad news, but out of the goodness of my heart. Natasha, you've been worked over again by your protective brother. You've been cheated big time, babe. The uh, little prince, the royal pain in the butt, is not the heir. He's not even a prince. It turns out that he's just the Count's lowly bastard son. A mistake made with my wife. Which means he's entitled to nothing but his mother's tears. Of all the ridiculous things you've said, this one really wins the blue ribbon. You've been confabbing with Helena, or are you just conspiring? Not yet. You serious? How? How? The usual way, I suppose. I prefer not to dwell on the grisly details. But that's it. You've been cheated. Nicholas is not entitled to anything. That means the whole Cassidine nut is up for grabs. And you're entitled. Feliz Navidad, Natasha. Don't forget who gave you your Christmas cha-chas.
How could you think that even for a second I wouldn't love this? This is the most beautiful thing I've ever owned. I know we agreed not to see other people a while back, but just wanted to make it official. I, I wanted you to have something you could wear that says, that tells you that we belong together. Mm. Something you can look at any time, day or night, and uh, be reminded of how much you've changed my life. And how much I love you. You just said you love me. I know. You don't have to say it back. I mean, you don't even have to love me back. I mean, you can consider this just a, an ordinary best friend's ring. Um, I just thought you wanted to know. Lucky, I thought you already knew. I am in love with you. I have been all along. 